Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Great Locks. I'm Gunther the Great, and today we're going to be looking at Lil Baby's dreadlocks. It's pretty cool to see the progression of his dreads because from start to finish, they had quite a bit of progression, and I think this will give a hope to a lot of people who want to get dreadlocks and see his and seeing where he started and now where his dreadlocks are and a lot of rappers do this for some odd reason they'll start out with some like nappy looking dreadlocks and I've, i'm just putting it that way just because that's kind of how it looks and it's just more of a like freeform kind of style there's nothing wrong with freeforms one of my favorite styles of dreadlocks is freeform dreadlocks he kind of started out with a freeform style of dreadlocks or a sponge rub or a towel rub style of dreadlocks and then now we see him with super maintained dreadlocks and it almost looks like he was doing some interlocking, but we'll take a look a little closer and see with some of his newer photos. But we'll start a little bit further back with an older photo. So right here, it looks very sponge rubby or towel rubby. And what I mean by that is he used most likely a towel rub or a sponge rub method. But then again, he could have also started out with just free forming his hair. Hair with his hair type, it naturally will form that way. So moving on to his hair type, we can most likely say with his hair type, he has most likely a 4B or possibly even a 4c 4c is really tight curls a 4b is more of a it's really tight but it's not as tight as a 4c obviously so i would probably categorize them with a 4b hair type which is very easy to lock up so anybody who has a 4b hair type it's easy for you guys' hair to lock up because it naturally wants to lock up. That's why you see people in ancient times with dreadlocks and we see the origin of dreadlocks. It's just neglecting combing it or anything like that. So that's why, you know, hair with any curl pattern will initially want to lock up by itself. And that's how people get freeform dreadlocks. But like I said, he started out with a freeform style of dreadlocks. We've seen this with Sway Lee. He started out with very freeform like. We've seen it with all these other people that started out with kind of a freeform style of dreadlocks and then eventually started maintaining them. Him. Real quickly, one of the hairstyles that he wears often is his hair in braids. And he usually just does like a double braid back. And this doesn't look like how XXXTentacion did his braids. It's more of just a, you know, straight back versus kind of like a, what they would call like a wishbone to where it kind of goes with the circumference of your head. He has more of a just traditional, I would call it, braids to where they just go straight back. And it looks really cool, it looks very clean, and it's something that he's been doing frequent and more recently. And for anybody who wants to do maintenance and really maintain their hair, do your hair in braids because it will hold that locking gel in or whatever you're using in your hair. Or even if you're just twisting your hair, it will stay in a whole lot better if you keep it in braids versus just holding it in clips for a couple hours and then taking them out. And we see in this picture that he actually wears a do-rag. This will prevent all the frizziness and help you maintain your hair along this process. So I would recommend you guys, if you want to not have any frizz whatsoever, use a do-rag as much as possible. Now, like I was saying, even going from freeform dreadlocks all the way into very maintained dreadlocks. Even with his hair being maintained, you can still see how they try to form his hair into a maintained look with the tips and the kind of the lengths of them being a little more rugged but we see the roots very maintained. Now, believe it or not, I was gonna do a review on Lil Baby not too long ago, maybe a month or two ago, and then I seen his dreadlocks and I'm like, they don't really look that good, but then I seen him a couple days ago and then I was like, dang, his dreadlocks are actually turning out very well. You know, they're maturing very well and they've grown quite a bit just because he has been maintaining it and you can actually see the length on them. So, looking at his dreadlocks now, you can see that his hair is just looking really nice, very maintained, and it's gonna be really cool to see where his hair goes in the future because he does have a high top fade and we see this is so often like so many people have a high top fade of dreadlocks especially in the rap community so in this photo this is probably the best photo of his dreadlocks because you can see the length of them you can obviously see some of the maintenance work that they did in them i'm sure they did a bunch of crochet hooking and retwisting just to get his hair to form correctly after free forming for so long and what you see in that dreadlock that's right in front of his eye, you can see that there's like a knot right there and that could possibly be interlocking. And it seems as if they did interlocking for a little bit and then just stopped doing it, which a lot of people actually do interlocking for a little bit and then they'll stop. Just because they find out that they don't wanna do that kind of maintenance and then eventually just twisting with gel is a whole lot better. And there's nothing wrong with actually starting out eventually doing interlocking and then eventually getting into twisting with gel just because you initially lock the hair with interlocking and then you move on to twisting with gel and it just makes it look overall really nice but although you will have those damaged spots that people can tell that oh he did interlocking or he did crochet hooking because that knot could possibly be crochet hooking as well but as far as what I'm seeing right now, they're putting in a lot of work to his hair and making it look really nice. And to be honest, based on the look of his dreadlocks and how they're kind of really thick at the lengths and then they skinny up at the roots, because of course it's gonna skinny up at the roots when you do a retwist, but with this, it does seem as if he had to really just tear them apart, like how I did the maintenance on Diddy's hair when I had to literally just pull his hair apart to separate it and actually maintain his dreadlocks. I feel like that's what they had to do with his hair. And to prevent that from happening, 
to ever getting to that point to where you had to maintain it that much to where you had to literally just like tear the hair apart. Just keep on maintaining your hair, keep on using locking gel, which leads me on to the product of the day, which I'm gonna say is two products actually. The first one is gonna be the Jamaican Mango Lime Locking Gel, and then I also wanna promote the Dread Sponge because both of them possibly could have been used with Lil Baby's hair. And I would say use the sponge rub first, initially lock up the hair, allow it to sit for a couple months, and then go in with locking gel, and you're gonna be sitting really nice and looking really good just like Lil Baby's dreadlocks. And guys, like I always say, you can always find all the products on greatlocks.com, so don't forget to go check that out. And if you wanna be featured on the page, the channel, or even the website, please don't forget to follow Great Locks and tag Great Locks on Instagram. But please leave your recommendations down below who you guys wanna see next. This was a great recommendation just because this hair has came a long way. So please comment down below who you guys would like to see next. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.